New tonight, 7 News reporter Jacqueline Allen there for the debate. And Jacqueline, it got pretty heated. That's right. You know, the public comment just wrapped up in the last hour. I'm live here outside the meeting about the town of Bomar, a very exclusive small town, less than a square mile in, si a square mile in size and also with less than 1,000 people. But this is the town that Southwest Plaza Mall is approaching for annexation, asking them to annex the mall so that they can start charging a sales tax. Now, here is a map showing what we're talking about here, the town of Bomar and a few miles away, Southwest Plaza. So to annex this, they would have a flagpole area down Bowles Avenue annex to connect them. Now that's causing some very heated debate at tonight's meeting. Take a listen. Why, why would you drag us through all of this? Well, that's not um, maybe in your household, but what about the rest? Don't speak for me and don't speak for my neighbors that are in support of this. And don't speak for me. I didn't. Yeah, that was pretty much the tone tonight in a packed, unair conditioned church. The plan is Bomar would split an up to 3% sales tax with the mall's owner, General Growth Properties. The mayor says that money would be used for improvements such as road resurfacing and hiring a town manager. Right now, that mall is in unincorporated Jefferson County, which cannot charge a sales tax. But the majority of the people at the meeting tonight are opposed, concerned about liability, the future of a struggling mall, and how they'll pay for police and road services. Services. We don't need to get into this weird, twisted arrangement. It's so contrived, I can't even figure it out. And I must. Now, Southwest Plaza is undergoing a multi-million dollar renovation right now. They're holding an open house to discuss this issue from 4.30 to 6.30 at the mall tomorrow night. The mayor tells me this will take a few months to hammer out all the details. And right now, Bomar isn't set up to charge a sales tax, so they'll have to have an election in November to approve that. If the voters don't, this won't move forward. Reporting live, Jacqueline Allen, 7 News.